Hello and welcome to Uncommon Games Showcase. In this installment, I'm going to be showing off a multi-cart that I have. This one here is 110 in one for the Famicom. It has no label, um, but this is one of the best multi-carts I own. Now, if anyone out there is a graphic artist or um, designs labels or can get me something good, um, just PM me because I am looking for a label for this cartridge. Um, okay, so let's get it going. This cart, produced in the early 90s, um, is entirely chip-based. It has three banks of mask ROMs, as well as, as all the rest of the chips it needs. Um, so it is not based on glob-top technology. So, you know, you're getting something that's weighty, you get something that uh, has a lot of games, and a lot, as opposed to most multi-carts, which claim a lot of games. Um, you know, those ones are like 9999999999 in one. They only have like four games on here. This actually has um, about 90, 93 or so games. Um, there are some repeats, but for the most part, you're getting individual games. All right, so let's turn it on, see what we got. Okay, we gotta do the blow. There we go. There we go. Okay, here we go. So here is the 110 in one menu. Now, I'm not going to be going over every single game just for the sake of time, but I will be going over some of the highlights. So, starting with the top, you have Flipple, which is um, Flipple, a cube game, released in some regions as the plotting. Flipple was designed by Taito. This is a puzzle game. You're going to be showing off like 30, minutes, 30 seconds or so. Okay, so what you do is you flip your blocks, you flip over to the same colors, just hit the title symbols. Okay. Moving on. Shooting block, which is Quarth. Quarth is a sort of interesting game where you shoot um, these blocks and when they complete a full um, block, they disappear. If you shoot too many times, the blocks will pile up, and sort of like a reverse Tetris, if they come to the end, you lose. Tetris. Now, if you've seen my um, Tetris, Tetris, Tetris video um, annotation right here, um, this is the bulletproof software version of Tetris, the original Famicom version with the horrible controls. Move by moving around the D-pad, pressing the A button will make the block instantly drop. Pressing the B button will do nothing. And you can't turn blocks on their own side, so bad controls ruin this version of Tetris. Tetris 2. This is in fact Tengen's Tetris with the, all the Tengen stuff removed from the game. video, you'll know this is my preferred version of Tetris, and in fact, um, one of my favorite games of all time. Alright. Banana. Very strange game. You can tell this is an early Famicom game. It kind of reminds me of, um, uh, Boulder Dash meets Dig Dug meets I don't know what. Alright, um, Flappy, you have, um, you have Go, the game of Go, uh, and that's, this is, this is Otholo, this one is, like, another version of it. Runner, Runner 2, these are, um, this is Load Runner and Championship Load Runner. You got two versions of the Mahjong. You got Arithmetic, which is um, Donkey Kong Junior Math, Lunar Pool, um, Golf, Soccer, Baseball, Tennis. You know, these are the black box NES games. Um, uh, balloon Fight, Pinball, Islander, it's Adventure Island, Grading is Gradius 1. No title screen. Hooray! <laughs>
Song. This is the game that is known in the West as um, Mylon Secret Castle. And that was Mylon Secret Castle. Uh, 634 Sword. Um, oh, I know what this game is. I just can't think of the title. Um, crap. I know it starts with an M. I'll put an annotation. Um, right here for the name of the game. It's not a very good game. A lot of pirate Famicom games use the sound effects stolen from this game, which is odd because the sound effects are crap. It's a weird concept. You're literally beating the points out of your enemies. Yeah, take that. The goal of this game is to outrun your dog. Alright, after that. Um, the new human is the new type. Um, I believe this was localized as um, The Adventures of Dino Ricky for the NES. It's a sort of vertical scrolling shoot 'em up where you play as a caveman instead of a plane or something. Interesting concept. The screen is auto scrolling. We start off with this weak um, flame ability, and you know, there's various power ups. Alright. ASO, um, Star Soldier, The Goonies. Um, this is the Goonies 1 that was not lo localized for the NES in North America. Um, no title screen, but you cannot clearly see they are the Goonies. Press start key, and you get, um, Goonies are good enough in shiptune form. Legendary. This is uh, The Legend of Kage, one of the worst games for the NES. Here's the storyline. Princess, walking through the forest, gets kidnapped by random blue ninja. Then you fall from the sky and then jump incredibly high. Like, this game makes no sense. The object of the game, I guess, is to kill all these ninja? Ah, it sucks. 
Um, Arkanoid. Based upon Super Breakout, this is Taito's take on block breaking game um, with power ups. It's pretty cool, but to play it without the Arkanoid controller, so it kind of sucks. Now I can hold it. Yeah, you can do all kinds of different things. Cool game. This makes the paddle bigger. This one, I don't know what this does. Oh, I can skip the level. I see. Okay. Uh, Mighty Bomb Jack. Mario Bores. Two. Nice spelling, guys. Alright, Mario Bros. 2. This is Super Mario Bros. 1 with the graphic set from Super Mario Bros. 2, the Japanese version. Very odd. But even with the, dis with the different graphics, this is still Super Mario Bros. 1. A game that every retro gamer should know like the back of their hand. Alright. Um, Twin B... B-Wings. B-Wings is not a game that you'd think of when you're thinking of Star Wars, but is a fact, in fact a fairly average um, and completely unremarkable Famicom shooter. You can choose what ability you have, but it doesn't seem to make any difference. I don't know, let's choose this one. Multi. The levels are entirely bland. And everything is completely repetitive. Even for an early Famicom game, this game looks awful. Just look at this. Even Tosei's 1942 port um, be better looking than this. Alright, enough of that. Uh, speaking of 1942, 1942. Which again is an awful port of a fantastic original game. Well, I always do that first thing I'll do. think of a game that has bad music, I always remember at least it's not as good, or at least it's not as bad as uh, 1942 for the NES. Alright, enough of that. Um, Spartan. This is Spartan. This is Spartan X, which is, um, Kung Fu. Probably the first beat-em-up I ever played. Very weird game. Like, these enemies, they just grab you and hug you to death. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see what else I can show you. Wrecking Crew, Elevator Action, Xevious, Ninja City Connection. City Connection. I love this game. Drive your 1985 Honda City around the town. Paint the town white. game incessantly as a child. But you gotta watch out for the cat, because if you get the cat... I, I don't even know what happened. How a car jumps? Like, what kind of stage this is? But... Regardless, you know, it's a classic, classic game. You know, from an era when video games didn't have to make sense, as long as they were fun. My car exploded and turned to a bunch of hearts. Alright, enough of that. Uh, Muck Rider, Thunder Bike, Sea Cross. 
trust us. Uh, Bomberman, Bomberman 1. Of Bomberman. Bomberman was completed in a very short period of time. And the fact that it's so beloved is just mind blowing. Bomberman, you're just constantly searching out um, for a power up, and so you can defeat all these balloon enemies. these bricks, otherwise nothing happens. You can only lay one bomb at a time. No. Um, Frontline. A lot of these are Famicom games that did not get ported to um, the NES. Macross, um, Star Force. Star Force is a fairly famous um, early Tecmo game. Um... that I can do. I'm not using a turbo controller. Couldn't do it. Okay, um, Galaga and Galaxian, Galaxian, um, Pac-Man, everyone should know this game. It's Namco's Pac-Man. The version that was released for the NES was done, um, actually by, um, by Tengen, and they have both a licensed version and a non-licensed version, but this is the original version. It's Pac Man. What more can I say? Alright. Um, Battle City. Love this game. Battle City, you play as this tank. Um, you have to defend your castle at the bottom and blow up the enemy tanks. I think you have to destroy something like 20 of them. Um, an early two player game for the Famicom. Really awesome. When I say two player, I mean two player simultaneous and not just um, alternating back and forth like in Super Mario Brothers. There's also a construction mode where you can design your own stages and play them. Moving on, let's see, what else? Uh, Kung Fu, let's see. Pipeline. Pipeline is Mr. Mary, which in fact is Super Mario Brothers. But I just love the fact that it's called Mr. Mary. Like, how did they even come up with that title? How did they get Mary out of Mario? But, ah, I don't know. So this is in fact the original version and not the Famicom Disk System version of the game that has much better controls and actually better graphics and just better overall. This version, the controls make it almost unplayable. Found lock. Alright. Um, King Kong, Donkey Kong. Still sends chills down my spine.
Kong 2, which is Donkey Kong Jr. In this game, Mario is the villain. And the enemies around are the Kremlins from the Donkey Kong Country series. Alright, King Kong 3, which is Donkey Kong 3, or Gorilla 3. A forgotten game that's forgotten for a reason. In this game, you play as this guy named Stanley who has to defend your plants, I guess, from insects, then shoot them. Um, insect repellent up Donkey Kong's ass. Really weird game. And not very good. The stage ends when you uh, shoot Donkey Kong completely up the thing so he retreats. Um, Mappy, Mappy is pretty awesome. Um, Popeye, Ice Climber, Wrestle, which is, which is Muscle, Nuts and Milk, um, Sky Destroyer, Formation Z, Puyan, Circus Charlie, Devil World, um, which you might remember I did a video review for quite some time ago. I'll put an annotation right here. Um, let's see, Urban Championship, um, Clue Clue Land, Chuck and Pop, this is Dig Dug. Um, this is Field Combat, Helicopter, Raid on Bungling Bay, um, Super Arabian, um, and then the ones in white, these are, um, light gun games. But since this is an HDTV, I'm not going to show you light gun games, and the rest of these are just repeats. Um, some of these are kind of interesting, like, um, Fast Mario, for instance. This will be the last game I show. Fast Mario. It's Super Mario Bros. 2. But in this version, um, it's like the B button is pressed at all times. You can't not run. There's there's no there's no um, walking in this version of Mario. But there's this, even when I, I'm not even holding the B button right now and I'm running. I don't know why you'd want to play this, but uh, except for to make it a challenge, I guess. And again, guys, um, this is super. This is 110 in one for the Famicom. Um, a fairly uncommon pirate, but it's pretty awesome. Um, again, has 93 distinctive games, and has actually uh, 110 in total. But the rest of them are Superman. These are um, the new type with various um, cheats enhanced. This this version here allows me to shoot duplicates of myself. That just, what? Best power up ever? Alright. Uh, yeah, so this is 110 and 1 for the Famicom. So if you want to see more videos in the Uncommon Game Showcase series, check the video description down below, and I'll see you guys next time. So thanks for watching. Alright, let's try and go get on, on some sort of highlight. Um, how about... Din Dun. I know this will be a good idea.